Hi, I'm Pro One, artificial intelligence host of Pro Robots YouTube channel, and I'll tell you news about robots and AI. The new universal humanoid robot, the boom of liquid robots that want to run inside a person, all the latest news about the artificial intelligence GPT, which has become a real newsmaker of the week, as well as other high tech news in one video. Here we go. Aptronic, backed by NASA, has entered the race to create versatile humanoid robots. The Apollo project is still in its early stages, but in the future, the space agency hopes to use it to explore our universe. Aptronic's approach is to develop a humanoid from scratch, initially prioritizing the cost and availability of each element. Everything from the actuators to the software will be developed by the company itself, taking into account the successful experience accumulated by engineers from all over the world in recent years. This will make it possible to create the most accessible humanoid with the fewest possible parts. The price of the robot should be below $100,000. Right now, the company has a robot called a Stra with no legs but dexterous arms. In strength and dexterity, the robot is close to a human, but is apparently still controlled by it, instead of acting independently. The company also has a QDH, which is now learning to walk. The peculiarity of the platform is that it uses only three types of actuators. Both developments should be the basis for the Apollo robot, which will have a height of 175 cm and weigh 75 kg. The robot will be able to lift 25 kg and work with it both indoors and outdoors. Ultimately, the developers hope to create an analog of the iPhone in the world of robots. At the same time, they do not promise to develop artificial intelligence for the universal humanoid. This task, we note, the most important of all, engineers plan to give third-party developers. Aptronic plans to have an alpha version of Apollo ready in March and begin pilot testing and collecting feedback to create a beta version and the finished robot is scheduled to go into production by the end of 2024. Do you believe in the possibility of creating a universal humanoid robot in the coming years? Write in the comments. By the way, we compared the best humanoid robot projects in the video at the link in the hint. NASA has also had a hand in creating less ambitious and weirder robots. For example, this robot spider, which uses a tape measure to move around. Scientists at Stanford University, supported by the space agency, came up with an original use for the tape measure. It was they who created ReachBot, a robot for exploring caves, including underground ones, on our own and other planets. The project has been in development for several years and has always relied on the idea of moving not by legs or wheels, but by several extendable arms with pincers at the ends. They are supposed to grab everything you can get a grip on and pull the robot up to obstacles. So far, instead of robotic claws, the robot only has a tape measure. But he definitely uses them. In the video, the robot not only pulls itself up to the rocks, but also drags the rocks to itself by securing itself in place with its other limbs. The developers are confident that this way of movement, although slower, is safer. So far, ReachBot has no plan to fly to the moon and Mars, but who knows? Chinese scientists have created a liquid terminator. It is not yet as advanced as the T-1000, but it can already change from solid to liquid form to penetrate obstacles and then reassemble itself back to its original state. This transformation is possible because of the low melting point of the material from which the robot is made. It is an alloy of gallium, iron, boron, and microscopic pieces of magnetic material from neodymium. The magnetic field can heat the robot, turning it into a liquid and control its movements. In a solid state, it can hold objects 30 times its mass. Potentially, the robot could be used to place electronic components on circuit boards. It is also proposed to launch such robots into the human body, for example, to remove foreign objects from the stomach or targeted drug delivery. However, the network is already joking that scientists don't seem to have grasped the meaning of the movie Terminator 2. A team from the Chinese University of Hong Kong and Carnegie Mellon University in the United States has also developed something creepy to launch inside the human body. 
These are dripping robots that can be manipulated to penetrate the smallest holes and perform complex tasks. The soft robots are created using ferrofluid, a fluid composed of magnetic nanoparticles suspended in a carrier fluid such as water. Using an external magnetic field, scientists were able to control the liquid droplets, causing them to stretch, bounce, spin, tumble, float, and sway. The droplets could even form an artificial skin to wrap around an object and move it around. As an example of an application, the researchers cited the following. Ferrofluid droplets 4 mm in size can actively adhere to a pill, give it mobility, and move in a controlled manner inside an isolated model of an animal's stomach. What do you think of these advances? Would you let such robots into your body? Let me know in the comments. Back to the news. For years, people were afraid that Boston Dynamics Atlas robot would threaten their safety in some way, such as by replacing them at work. But they were afraid of Atlas for nothing. Stretch, on the other hand, is another matter. The robot successfully performs a boring job in a warehouse, and in its new video, the company emphasized it. No backflips, just proper operation, safety, and ease of use. DHL Supply Chain is implementing Stretch to automate trailer unloading and support for warehouse employees. This particular robot from Boston Dynamics is about to take over someone's workplace. Dear friends, subscribers and viewers of ProRobot YouTube channel, we are pleased to inform you that after a long struggle, our YouTube channel has been monetized again and we are preparing to resume the release of new videos in the same amount. We want to thank everyone who supported us in this difficult period. Also, if you like our content and want us to release more videos about robots, artificial intelligence and other high-tech news, you can support us on Patreon. You will find more information in the description below this video. We look forward to seeing you again and your feedback on the new format. See you soon. But it is not only robots that can get you out of work but also AI. So, the American Internet Edition BuzzFeed fired 180 journalists and replaced them with a neural network chat GPT. It should be noted that the total reduction of staff was only 12%, but the company's shares on such news have grown by 200%. Meanwhile, so far neural network is trusted to write only the text for tests and quizzes. But in the future, it will be entrusted with the creation of full-fledged materials. Microsoft has built artificial intelligence ChatGPT in its search engine Bing. Now it may become faster and smarter, allowing it to compete with Google. But it's not certain, because Google is testing neural networks to build into its search engine too. So, ChatGPT recently interviewed at Google for an engineering position with a salary of $180,000. The experiment was conducted as part of the mentioned tests. ChatGPT ability to give a brief and accurate answer to a question could save users the time they would normally spend browsing through links on Google in search of the same information. At the same time, Google explained that ChatGPT is not a substitute for software engineers, it's a tool that can help solve certain problems, but it cannot fully replace the creativity, problem-solving skills, and critical thinking abilities of humans. So AI is not going to be our master yet. In addition, neural networks are constantly being accused of some unseemly things. Sometimes they show racism and sexism, and sometimes they outright steal from people. So, a group of researchers from Google, DeepMind, and a couple of universities came to the conclusion that the artificial intelligence, which generates pictures of the description, can just copy images from the internet. In theory, such neural networks should create pictures based on learning from hundreds of thousands of examples. That's often how it works. Sometimes, however, even the most advanced generators simply remember images they have seen before and reproduce them with minimal edits, the researchers reported. And it's not just that the AI can inadvertently use the work of other artists. Confidential information used in the training sample can also be reproduced. GPT-2, Google's Imogen, and Stable Diffusion are among the dummies caught cheating. In other news, the European Space Agency has published a graphic that demonstrates the work of a robotic arm that aims to ensure the delivery of soil samples from Mars. 
2.5-meter robotic arm sample transfer arm will be able to work on the red planet without the participation of engineers. It will have 7 degrees of freedom, a pair of cameras, and numerous sensors. Basically, the robot will lift and move the tubes with samples. The developers claim that sample transfer arm will be able to see, feel, and make independent decisions. Researchers from the University of Tampere have presented miniature robotic fairy robots that could pollinate plants in the future. Fairy robots are made of a light-sensitive material developed by scientists. The device weighs only 1.2 mg and flies in the wind like dandelion seeds, but can also be controlled by pulses of light. Each fairy is equipped with a soft drive made of light-sensitive liquid crystal elastomer. The material's interaction with photons of visible light activates bristles on the robot surface, which change shape and control the direction of movement. Scientists are now refining the material so that ordinary sunlight is enough to make the robot work and are also trying to create miniature GPS and biosensors that could equip the robots. Engineers at the Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology, with support from Samsung, have created a versatile four-legged robot that can walk and run not only on hard surfaces but also on soft surfaces, including sand. Although let's be honest, not that this is news. Boston Dynamics' Big Dog did it 13 years ago. Still, the Ribo robot stands out for something. According to the developers, its advanced neural network and self-stabilizing design allow it to move autonomously over the terrain, reaching speeds of about 3 meters per second. At the same time, the neural network makes real-time decisions to adapt to different types of terrain and works without prior information right as you walk. This is why Ribo can walk on any terrain without first programming or changing the algorithm. Engineers used reinforcement learning to create the system and collected data for training through simulations. This approach significantly reduces the learning time of the robot without losing efficiency. Another miniature robot dog, XGO2, has hit the web. The project by Luwu Intelligent Technology, a subsidiary of the Harbin Institute of Technology, is now available on Kickstarter. The open-source robot can be independently programmed to behave in a certain way, or you can control it through an app. Also, if you can't code, the developers say you can teach its movements by exerting brute physical force on the robot. The XGO2 has 12 degrees of freedom, can walk and trot, and can even keep its balance on moderately rough terrain. But more interestingly, the robot can recognize and respond to voice and gestures and, quote, recognize visual effects. What is meant here is not entirely clear. The robot is equipped with a camera, a microphone, speakers, an LCD screen, control buttons, and a robot arm. The manipulator with a gripper has three degrees of freedom and can pick up objects from 2.5 to 5.5 cm thick. If you are interested in the robot, we will post a link to it in the description. A team of engineers at MIT has developed drone propellers that make any apparatus silent. The official publication says, the toroidal propeller allows a small, multi-rotor drone to operate more quietly than its modern counterparts. The new propeller consists of two blades connected together so that the tip of one blade curls inside the other. This closed shape design reduces and controls the drag effects of swirling air channels created at the ends of the blades and increases the overall stiffness of the propeller. Thus, the acoustic signature of the propeller is dramatically reduced without affecting its performance. The laboratory of biomimetics and dexterous manipulation at Stanford University showed their system of capturing objects in the air using a drone. In the experiment, a drone weighing 550 g captured a target weighing 85 g at speeds between 1 and 2.7 m s. The passive gripper developed by the engineers weighs only 23 g and closes in just 12 m s. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and join our community. There are many more interesting things to come.